Welcome back. So I've been doing some work on tarsal tunnel injections. We had a preprint paper back in 2021. This is by my colleague Akram and I. And we did a, a, a tarsal tunnel treatment protocol using peripheral nerve stimulation for high volume injection. This was a preprint, as I say, and we've got that in for print publication now. Hence, I've been doing some revision of the paper and going through looking at the references and updating the paper i found this video this is from five years ago 2019 and it demonstrates how we used to inject our tarsal tunnel syndrome and we got fair to good results with it but reflecting that's why we moved to a high volume technique so i'm going to put this up by way of posterity other clinicians will still inject it this way so it's um it's up really as an fyi but uh, hope you enjoy Okay then Rita, so you come back for injection number two and so the first injection was on this outside yeah. uh, but now you're left with some pain on the inside so I just want to mark up some anatomy. Okay. So if I mark up, just because you've got such beautiful white skin it doesn't really show up on the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to mark up, so here's the edge of your ankle bone there, here's your, sorry, navicular bone there. So we've got one tendon coming around there. So if I just feel for where your pulse is, Rita, there's your pulse there. So there's a pulse point. Here is your abductor hallucis. Sorry, Chuck. Some of this is a bit, a bit, a bit wordy for camera. So your artery is coming down and is coming into the foot at about that point there. And at this point here, we call that the portipedis. Now I was giving you a foot a little bit of a wiggle mm -hmm. and just disappear off and put some gloves on later. Right, mm -hmm. Mostly because if I don't, I'll get ink all over my hands. Mm. Especially with that pen. Yeah, especially with that pen. So you were sore in yeah, yeah in yeah, in yeah. that area there, but you were also sore mm -hmm. around here. Yeah. So the nerve, that's your artery, the nerve is just behind that way and just a little bit what we call posterior lateral so actually really the nerve is there it explains that pain it does explain that pain and then you're also getting some pain here yeah so you get the first branch off that nerve yeah. supplies this heel area here and that's the medial calcaneal nerve but this main one so you're really getting pain now i'm expecting if you're getting pain here and here to have a real pinch, yeah, yeah, to have a real pinch point about there. So really then, Chucky Egg, this is tarsal tunnel syndrome, right. is what you've, you've got now. Main nerve and a little branch of the nerve. So what I want to do is put an injection into that area here. Okay. So this is where I actually found the artery. So that's my landmark. Apart from you actually having oohs and owls, mm -hmm. that's my landmark there. I know what's yep. there because that's that you've got a pulse there. And I know the nerve is just behind, just behind that. And that's where the, the nerve to the heel is coming off. So it really suggests, because the nerve branch to the heel doesn't come off up here, doesn't come off down there. So it really suggests you've got some nerve compression, some nerve entrapment at that side. So we're gonna give you a little cortisone shot now. Okay. And I know you've had a cortisone shot before, but mm -hmm. just again, currently good health, no yeah. viral infections at the moment, no allergies at all, no problems with the previous injection. No. You're going to not drive today. No. You're going to rest and watch Jeremy Kyle for the rest of the day on the sofa. Jeremy Kyle, Judge Rinder, you can alternate between the two. Mm -hmm. Right, so I will stop the video in a sec and I'm going to get the juice. Okay, Rita, we'll come back in and we'll do the video again now. So what I've prepared is some local anaesthetic. So that's going to, we'll come back into camera shot. So I've prepared some local anaesthetic. So that's going to take the pain away. It's going to dilute this steroid. And also diagnostically, if it takes away the pain, it tells me really you're in the right area. Mm -hmm. Mixed with a little bit of cortisone. So that's going to be the anti-inflammatory. Um, point to the people watching this video, you can only really mix in the syringe if you are a prescriber. So you need to do that course. So that's our mix. Bit of skin prep. You know me, I love these chloral preps. I tend to just get them going on the back of my glove. And just kind of dab, because I don't want to mark off all of that beautiful purple. I want to see where I am. 
plaster it to hand. Sorry, that's loud for the camera. And um, chop and change between different needles that I like to use for this young lady. I'm going to use a 27 gauge needle just because it's nice and skinny. As you know, I generally like a kind of a blue needle, but for this lady, we're going to use a 27. So we're just going to slush that up, get the air out of it. Now, Chuck, a little bit of a scratch, yep. then a bit of a sting. Okay. So there's the artery. We're going to come behind that. Okay. So three, two, one, scratch. And then what you might find in a sec is a little bit of an ooh or an ow. Okay, nothing yet. So I'm behind the artery. Any stinging in that area now as it's going in? Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm not looking to do is I'm not looking to find the nerve with the needle. But if we do get it, it tells me I'm in the right area. You saw that I aspirated. Oftentimes I'll recheck, make sure I've not moved the needle. Recheck that there's no flashback in the syringe. because flashbacks are not good. Speaking of flashbacks, Rita, when I was young, my dad used to hit me over the head with his camera and I got PTSD. I still have flashbacks from that. So that's us done. Get rid of the needle, check for claret, and then a little bandage on. So Rita, that purple pen that I've marked on there that helps me mark off, that comes off in about two months, three months, <laughs> so it will come off. You can use a mild acid or a flame to take that off, but it will come off eventually. So we're gonna keep you in the comfy chairs for 10 minutes, make yeah. sure you don't have a little fit, a faint, a little reaction to the anaesthetic. We'll make you some nice NHS tea. It's not nice at all. Light duty's rest of the day, we're gonna see you back. Yeah. Have we already made you a follow-up appointment? Yes, I believe so. Six weeks? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think Super. it is, yeah. Questions, anything I can tell you? Uh, not really, it's... No questions at all? No. No. Same as last time, except for it was in the other side last time. Yeah, so well that wouldn't settle down quite well on the other side. So I would ask, you know, if, you sat, if I say any questions, I would say, how do you get those ships in the bottle? I've always wanted to know <laughs> that. What happens after you die? Why does Tarzan not have a beard? Wow, well, because he's clearly found a, a bit of stone or flint or something. Do you know, then that's actually correct. <laughs> so in the original Edgar Rice Burroughs books, he shaved with a stone to make himself look different from the other apes. Well, there you go. I don't yeah. charge for all this. No. Right, mate, thanks for the video. No, that's fine. So, as I mentioned at the start, my technique has continued to evolve. I try and be a very reflective practitioner, look at how my patients progress and look to improve my injection technique. So, I do a, a higher volume technique now, more, more local anaesthetic. I'll typically use a nerve stimulator to make sure I'm right on the nerve. And this is a preprint from a paper that my colleague Akram and I did back in 2021. And we're just looking to have that. We've updated it a bit. We'll look, it's actually in for submission now for a print publication. But if you find that on preprints.org, you'll see where we are at now in, in terms of how we inject. And typically, I think I find the patients generally have more pain. The average tarsal tunnel at the portopedis. But this one obviously was... Um, a bit of mesial calc as well as a bit of tarsal tunnel so that lady came back in six weeks she was doing pretty well um we didn't need to operate on that lady um but um thanks for watching